Hey everybody, no guts, no glory here. How y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing well. This video, I contemplated a while on doing whether I should say anything or not. Because as most of you know, who have been with me from the very beginning, know we are not about drama whatsoever. I don't bring it to anyone's doorstep. So I in turn think I deserve the same respect and don't bring it to my doorstep as well. You know from watching my channel, my video, that we just, we just don't do that. I like to think that I have a big heart and I try to be kind to those who are kind to me. I don't know what to say other than it saddens, saddens my heart. To know that there are people out there who have nothing, absolutely nothing to do better with their life than to sit and make campaigns out to try and hurt somebody, anybody. I don't know if they're just so unhappy that they just have to lash out at somebody or you know what they say that misery loves company and it's true that if they are just so miserable that they think okay yeah there goes my chair that they think okay i'm so miserable today i have nobody to talk to but let me see if i can gather a few people who might jump on my bandwagon and make me feel better because I'm miserable. So if they can just, you know, stroke my ego and say, oh, you know, I can totally relate with you. I totally understand. Oh, don't you worry. Yeah, we hate her too. You know, that's all I can think of why you do what you do. But I can think of a lot of better things to do. And the thing is that the majority of these people don't have a channel. So they go on people with a lot of people. And I'm not boasting in any way because I was not the only one. Trust me, people with a lot more than me also got this same message that has absolutely nothing to do, number one, with our video or with us in general. Just doesn't. <laughs> that was just, oh. Okay. My last Walmart haul that I just did, which had to do with Walmart. Somebody went on there and just had to say some now, please don't go to that video because it's not there. I gave her her five minutes of fame and I deleted it all now. So, sweetie, it's all gone. And, you know, <laughs> you picked the wrong channel to try to, to put your rally for a campaign of hate on there. She just said some things about a fellow, another YouTuber, which honey, number one, I don't subscribe to her. I don't even know anything about her. And yet you put this on my Walmart haul. And then when I confronted you by asking you, what does this have to do with my haul? And why did you do this? What the hell? You just said to bring awareness. Well, bring your awareness somewhere else. Well, I shouldn't say that because you did all over on everybody else's channel as well. You copy and pasted the same hate thing on a lot of people trying to spread your awareness. Well, you know how you spread it? Make your own channel. 
make your own channel and bring up your awareness that way or bring it to that person who you're having a beef with or have hate for bring it to her doorstep and the two of you like adults discuss it don't bring it to everybody else's behind a keyboard where you have no channel to try to make awareness really you really did not think that went out clearly and this was the one of the wrong channels to pick we just don't do that here we don't uh, and then some of my fellow subscribers and friends went and said some things and it got to be bickering back and forth I deleted it all because those who have been with me forever and are my friends and love us for who we are I don't want you to do that don't don't do that just yeah I don't want you guys giving in I know it's how do you say it's human nature to want to lash out at somebody who may have seemed like she was lashing out to somebody that means a lot to you it's human nature to do that but I am one I am the first one to admit I struggle with patience I try to turn the other cheek every chance I get just work on that don't do that don't give in don't give in to that temptation and I know it's not easy trust me I know it's not easy I by nature am hot-blooded true Puerto Rican true and true and there are times I want to just say things but I am a work in progress and I am trying really hard and it's also come to my attention that there is a forum that was just a forum a blog where people get on there it's like an open chat room but it's not live and it was just created it looks like in just in March of this year where somebody wanted to go on there and they titled this forum <laughs> Listen to this. That's pretty sad, isn't it? It's so sad. It's titled Dollar Tree Haulers, the whole dang lot of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I have to laugh at life or I would be just a mess and curled up in bed and just, yeah, crying and why. I'm not going to do that. I'm a fighter, meaning that I struggle through each and every day to be a better person and that's a chore in itself but this vlog or this blog I should say this forum someone started which I heard by someone who I will not name that she knows or has a really good idea of who started this forum and I was shocked. I was floored because I would have never, ever thought that it would be her. So sometimes that's why I am so leery of making friends because the ones you think are the sweetest and the nicest and you get close to are the ones that'll stab you in the back in a heartbeat because they have one thing in mind and that's to bring you down so my heart is sad but I'll get over it because I look at it this way too it's nice that I can that I occupy space in your in your head in your every thought I mean to think that you may even eat drink or breathe thinking of me and you hate me that much <laughs> hey I got my five minutes of fame <laughs> I feel famous yep 
to think I don't pay rent, but I occupy space in your life every day. <laughs> but she, in this forum she started, she goes on to talk about how, you know, what I eat and my health and that I'm a diabetic really floors her and upsets her. Well, and this video will not be monetized by any means, okay? So you can flag it all you want. You two can't touch me because I ain't gonna monetize it. But I look at it this way. If I ain't fucking you, if I ain't feeding you, if I ain't paying your bills, what the fuck do you care what I do? Really? What do you care? The money I spend on stuff and you want to say you think that we're hoarders? I give a lot of my stuff away. I sure do. I do not have these stash videos because you don't see a these stash video right away. You have to assume I'm keeping it all. I'm not. My mother lives in a building that is nothing but a senior citizen building and they have bingo two and three nights a week. Rather than them go out and buy their little gifts because they don't play for money, they play for little gifts. I donate a lot of the stuff that I buy to them. That's one place. They have a little arts and craft room downstairs in the lobby down there for the senior citizens to go and do their little craft stuff, just like a lot of you do. They make little things. Then they try to sell them in their little store they have down there. I donate a lot of stuff to them there also. So that's two. Three, I give a lot of stuff to my daughter, my grandkids, my mother, and sometimes yeah, the brother-in-law. <laughs> so, I do not need to add another room onto this house for those who think that I have so much. My money I earned. I worked all my life. So, what money I get, I earned. So, it is my retirement. How I spend it is my business, really nobody else's, because not even really the hubsters, because like I said, it's my money. He has his fair share too of money and how he spends his, also his business. Then we have money that we get together and that is our business. Somebody also had said that she pays an arm and a leg for her health insurance due to me. That I make her health insurance skyrocket because I don't take care of my health. Well, sweetie, I think I'm like a net, a net on a pecker, a pecker net of the many of millions of people out there that you have to pick on me, saying I make your health insurance go up. Oh well, I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna be me. I'm happy. I am happy. Me and my husband support each other. I think that's a lot of it is that so many people cannot stand for somebody or don't understand how somebody can be so, a couple could be so much in love or have so much happiness in their life. They can't understand it or they just don't get it or they're miserable and just, they want that so bad. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I have God in my life. Maybe that's what it, it is. I get blessed every day. Uh, it just saddens me that so many 
are so sad out there. I wish... It just really, it just really breaks my heart. It really does. That you can't be happy for somebody who is sharing parts of their life with you because we think so much of you to do that. I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Anyway, guys. So. I'll be coming back with some hauls. Yep. Haul. Some stuff I bought. I have a haul from Amazon because of a gift card. Which I didn't have to say. I could have just left you guys believing that I bought it all. But a gift card with a substantial amount of money on it that was gifted to me. <sighs> Why we always feel like we have to explain anything. You know, because we say you guys are like family. Well, then behave like family. Don't. I don't want the type of family that are backstabbers and you know, black sheep of the families and, you know, that kind of horrible families that maybe, maybe the ones that are just hating so much come from that kind of background or family. I don't know. But I pray for each and every one of you. You know, it's... It's sad. This world we live in is just sad sometimes. So sometimes I try to make it a happier place for many of you who can either either get out of the house or going through something. I just don't know anymore. But don't worry about me. Don't worry about us. We aren't going anywhere. No, we're not. Um, every day is a bright new day. What doors may close, others will open for me. I think that's it, guys. I just wish people would think before they speak. I know I do. I really try to think about it. And I thought about this one long and hard. And I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. And by doing this video, I am not giving them their five minutes of fame. And everyone says, just ignore it and yada, yada, yada. But you know, until you are a person that gets attacked often everyone reaches a limit everyone reaches a limit and I reach mine very far few in between so I don't do this as you many of you know often at all So, with that said, I hope it'll be a long time before I ever have to do another one because you can bet your ass there will probably be another one. Because no, there will be those who just won't get it. They won't get it. <sighs> Alright guys, remember to always let go, let God. No guts, no glory. We love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Bye, guys.